this video is going to discuss how you can improve readability with something that I call the grocery shopping strategy. We're going to begin this by talking about what's known as compound subjects. And you might have a question as to what exactly a compound subject is. A compound subject is any time you have two or more subjects that are grouped together in a sentence. Example, Rick and Morty are interdimensional travelers. In this context, we have Rick and Morty, and these are two subjects that are sharing the verb are. If there are two or three simple subjects, the information is easy to process. However, as the number of subjects increases, readability decreases. As we can see here, the more subjects you have, the harder it is to read. Let us assume that we have three subjects. Devil, comma, bad bee, comma, and rebel are words that describe doja cat. Now in this context, you see we have three subjects, devil, bad bee, and rebel. And collectively, they are words that describe doja cat. This sentence could be inverted the other way to make it a little easier to read, but with three simple items, the reader can still process it. However, if we increase the number of subjects, it gets harder to read. Driver's license, vampire, deja vu, good for you, traitor, and bad idea, right? Our top 10 hits by Olivia Rodrigo. Now, in this context, when we have six subjects, there's a lot of information for the reader to hold on to, and that impedes readability because they have to hold on to and remember all of the nouns that they're then going to categorize through the action. Imagine that you're going grocery shopping. The first thing you're typically going to do is grab your grocery cart, and then you're going to put all of your groceries inside that cart. We have the cart itself, and it serves as a framework to hold on to everything. However, what we're doing when we give the reader all these subjects first, without the action, without the context, is we're expecting them to hold on to all these ideas, and then afterwards organize them. And that can be really difficult because it's hard to hold on to all those ideas without a clear framework. So what can we do instead? We invert the sentences. In this context, instead of having all the songs first, we bring our context to the front of the sentence. And we say instead, Olivia Rodrigo has six top 10 hits. Now the reader has this context and the framework with which to hold everything, just like they would with a basket or a cart. So now when you give them all the groceries or you give them that list of songs, they know how to organize them and that increases readability. In addition to having a lot of subjects, you could also have a lot of modifiers attached to a subject. And modifiers are simply adjectives, prepositional phrases, and restrictive or relative elements that specify details about a noun when we attach details to something. If you have multiple modifiers attached to your subject or subjects, that can also create barriers to readability because there's a lot of distance between the subject and the action, and there's a lot of information to hold on to. Example, we might say a 40-year-old working class father, comma, a 40-year-old stay-at-home mother, comma, a 10-year-old son in grade four, an eight-year-old daughter in grade two, and an infant daughter are the five members of the Simpsons household. Now, in this context, you see age working status, age working status, describing the mother and father, age academic status, age academic status, describing the son and daughter, and then infant, referring to the age, describing the youngest daughter. And then we have, finally at the end, our action, our verb are the five members of the Simpsons household. Now, what we could do instead is start by saying that there are five members of the Simpsons household, colon, and then we have that list after. The reader now has the context with which to organize all that information. Now, let's take a look at how this rolls out in an academic context. Assuming you're an engineering student, temperature, humidity, speed, distance, and terrain are all determining factors with regard to the product's durability and effectiveness. Now, in this context, again, we don't want to give the reader that much information to start with. Instead, we want to create the framework. Several factors shape product durability and effectiveness. The reader now has the context they need. 
to understand the list of items. Let me bring them afterwards. So again, here we have our grocery cart, and then in the grocery cart, we fit all the information that follows. The reader has the context, and as they get each piece of information, they know exactly how to categorize it. In psychology, sleeplessness, dizziness, loss of appetite, headaches, anxiety, and weight gain are side effects of many antidepressants. Again, we're going to avoid this because we give our reader too much information to start. Instead, we begin by saying the side effects of antidepressants may include. Now the reader has the framework with which to understand and categorize all of the ideas that come afterwards. You've given them that figurative grocery cart of the context, and they use that as a framework to understand and process all the information that follows. We have something similar for social work. Cognitive behavioral therapy, trauma-informed therapy, and strength-based approaches can empower clients with substance use disorder. But again, we're giving the reader too much information to start with. We want to give them the context first. Several approaches can support clients with substance use disorder, including CBT, trauma-informed therapy, and strength-based approaches. Again, the reader has that context, and they use this as a framework to understand the ideas that follow. So a quick summary, if you have two or three short compound subjects, it likely won't create a barrier to readability. However, if the subjects have multiple modifiers and or there are more than three subjects, consider how you might introduce them as a list at the end of the sentence rather than beginning your sentence with all of this information. By opening with the framework, by opening with context that the reader can use to then understand and categorize that list of items, you're going to enhance readability and make it easier for your reader to understand exactly what your purpose is. That's how you can use the grocery shopping strategy when constructing your sentence to help enhance readability. If you have any questions on this, leave them in the comments section below and we'll do our very best to answer you as soon as we can. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.